I'm Danny Rogers inside Chrysler Arena reporting for Wolverine Women and today is National Signing Day where Michigan will welcome in its 2017 class with another Signing of the Stars event. For the second year in a row, the University of Michigan welcomed its new signees in with a Signing of the Stars event. The program signed 29 new players, including two five-star recruits led by the best wide receiver in the country, Donovan Peoples-Jones from Cas Tech High School in Michigan. This year's theme, family. Coach Harwell wanted to emphasize all of the people who had a large part in making the football program the success that it is. Coach Harbaugh's second recruiting class as head coach came in as the number six overall class. And you're on campus now. How do you like it so far? Uh, it's great. Uh, I've seen campus a bunch of times before I actually got here, but uh, being able to experience campus life is a, is a great experience. Is there any older player on the team that you're really trying to look up to and get a better relationship right now with? Um, I'm really close. I'm getting really close with Mason. Uh, Mason Cole, he's uh, teaching me a lot of things at center. He teaches me a lot of calls and uh, the terminology that I need to know. And um, I mean, I'm pretty close with a lot of dudes already, uh, the Jersey crew. So, um, you know, I have a lot of friends up here already. You probably saw this signing of the Stars event last year. You're waiting um, to then maybe be a part of it this year. Was it everything you were expecting? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a great feeling going out there and uh, all the fans screaming your name and uh, just cheering. You know, it just felt great. Last two seasons, you've been welcomed into new teams, new orgs. So what is a good piece of advice for these guys making adjustments coming into Michigan this year? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is kind of try to find an older guy, learn from them. I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, high school to college is a huge jump, um, and then college to the NFL, obviously. But you need to you know, latch on an older guy, learn from them, learn what they do well, and then also learn something maybe, hey, I would rather do it this way. I mean. Guys have had so much experience, they'll tell you, like, hey, I messed this up earlier in my career. So just latch on to one of them and try to learn as much as you can. What are your initial thoughts on this class coming in to Michigan this year? I think, I mean, I focus, you know, obviously offensively on the skill guys. They, a lot of explosiveness from the receivers. Um, and then Dylan McCaffrey, as a quarterback, obviously I watched him. Really good guy, I've hung out with him a little bit. And, you know, he just, he throws the ball nice. So it's just, you know, it's a matter of learning the offense. I mean, all these guys have the skills and talent to do it. They just got to go out there and, uh, you know, some of them gain some weight and then go play. So today a big theme was family. Uh, you just spent your la your first season with Detroit Lions. You got to play alongside a former player, um, Graham Glasgow. So what is that like for you coming into a new organization and just taking one of your guys with you? It's huge. I mean, the best thing was not having to worry about, like, center quarterback exchanges with Graham, um, you know, because early in OTAs and camp, him and I got a bunch of reps together, but it's just, it's nice having a friendly face there, especially when you're doing something you've never done before in your life. Um, and I think that that just atmosphere really transfers well here to Michigan. I mean, you know, we had that family atmosphere and it's such a big deal for Coach Harbaugh and this entire staff. So just, you know, I was fortunate. Not all the guys are lucky like that, but you know, these kids are coming in a really good situation here, having that family atmosphere. Chris Martin here with Wolf TV and Devin Funches from the Carolina Panthers, former Michigan wide receiver and tight end. Devin, how does it feel to be back here in the Chrysler Center, so close to the big house? I mean, it feels good to be back at, at the crib. You know, came up for the day to make sure uh, I supported the young guys coming in the program and uh, just make sure they uh, just got some NFL experience. So did you get a chance to look at some of these guys and how they play? How do you feel about some of these receivers coming in? All the offensive playmakers that's coming in, they're, they're going to be fantastic and phenomenal. They are they game ready right now. As we said on the stairs earlier, they, they, they're getting in and out their breaks, and they're coming off the ball hard, and they, and they uh, block downfield. So that's going to be that's gonna be a major key in this offense. I know you're just coming off the season, but have you got a chance to talk to some of these guys, give, mentor them a little bit? Uh, I, talk to, I just talked to them briefly. It's, it's not really on football mode right now. I'm just trying to chill. So talk to them briefly, just see where their minds are at and just making sure that if they need anything, they can call, uh, call, call me up and ask me anything. I know you said this is one of the best classes in the country coming in, and I know you had a lot to do with that. How do you feel knowing that a lot of these guys were influenced by you since you were such a great recruiter once you committed? Um, I mean, I know that's the impression that uh, is given when you got a video getting two, 3,000 retweets. but. No, nobody's making a college decision based off of a video or a hype video that I made. All I did is present facts. Yeah, the university sells itself. Um, Jim Harbaugh is the biggest, the biggest part of that seller. He's a great coach with uh, an amazing personality, a personality that's so inviting and so comforting. Uh, it's really hard not to choose Michigan. So that was that was more the question that I presented to guys when I was talking to them. 
um, every school that re recruits you is going to have a really nice stadium. They're going to have a ton of fans that know your name when you're screaming. Uh, the biggest thing about Michigan is the people that you're around. Um, you know, they do a really good job of making sure that you're comfortable, making sure that you have every opportunity to be successful and don't hold anything back. And uh, d diversifying your experience, you know, the thing that I love about Michigan is they always do a really good job of making sure that we're not held back in many opportunities. So just like studying abroad, college football players are usually limited in time um, and don't get that opportunity. They're taking everybody to Rome. And uh, we're just really excited about that process um, coming out. I didn't even know about that when I was getting recruited. You know, it's just something that they uh, kind of threw on us when we got here. And we're extremely excited about it. Guys are working hard. TV, I'm here with Braylon Edwards. How did it feel to be back here so close to the big house? Uh, it feels good. You know, around this corner is where a lot of big plays happen, a lot of good memories. So it's good to be here with these young men and welcome them to the next phase of their life. So I know you do a lot of mentoring for guys on the team, Mo Ways, guys like that. Have you got a chance to speak to some of these early enrollees and give them some of your wisdom? I've already been in Peoples Jones' ear. Uh, he has my number. We've talked a couple times, worked out a couple times. I just met Tariq Black as well as his uh, father. And I'm here for these guys. You know, it's their time to shine. We older players have had our time, and now it's time for us to give back the lessons that we learn at this level and at the next and in life. So I'm here for these guys if ever they need me.